What's going on, you sons of bitches? This is Eric Johnson. I'm with uh, Double O, and this time RBM's back, and I think we can actually see the fucking game behind us this time. It's actually a uh, God, I hope so. Yes, we can. As you see on the preview, we can see that. Good. All right. Man, I don't know what the fuck happened that last time. That was a pain in the dick, wasn't it? Hell yeah. Man, that pissed I me didn't off. Watch it. I know it was anyway, we have a return of Henry Cejudo. Going against Pelter Jan. Pelter Jan for the interim. Whatever the fuck it is. Dad. For the interim Bantamweight yeah. title. Because Jan, he doesn't want to wait for Aljamain Sterling to be back with his with his sore neck. Yeah, he that's right. And, you know, he now. did say, fuck that shit. We want Henry Cejudo, the messenger, right now. And apparently, all a blur cat says uh, he's going to whoop Cejudo's ass. Get on this one, boys. Um... If you recall, they all went against Sugar Sean O'Malley in the last episode, if you, if you yep. listened to the whole thing. Uh, and uh, Sean O'Malley uh, fucking proved them all wrong. So, And hey, Henry Cejudo is a much more decorated veteran than Sean O'Malley. He won the Olympic gold medal in, in amateur wrestling. But here's the thing. Yeah. He, he didn't win a gold medal with a broken friggin' neck. That is a fair point, but he, but he, he's here's something he did that Kurt Angle never did. He also UFC Bantamweight title and UFC flyweight title. No, but did he do he it with a broken friggin' neck? And he, I mean, he probably broke his finger in one of them. And he also wasn't the Intercontinental and European champion. Yeah, he also wasn't the WWF champion. Uh, uh, he also wasn't the Impact World Heavyweight champion. Also wasn't the TNA Impact. Uh, tag team world titles all at once. Uh, yeah, I don't think you know he's ever beat. Look, I'm just saying. All right, Kurt Angle's definitely better than Henry Cejudo, but yes, uh, that's that uh, yeah, I, I picked. Know. I picked Cejudo to win in his return fight. Um, I, I don't know. Steve says otherwise. I have to go with Steve. You always got to go with Steve, don't you? Yeah, Steve's your new T.J. Wilson. No, he he's not. Fuck <laughs> Steve's my homie. Yeah, no, you 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 and him go way back uh, in the series three years ago. Uh, let's see, and we have Shamil Abdurakimov. Abdurakimov. Yeah, something like that. Uh, yeah, Spivak looks like uh, the polar bear. Spivak. Whoop. Abert's ass or Spiv Spivak. Yep, Spivak. That's what, that's what I said the first time. No, you said Spivak. Whatever the fuck. So I, How about that one? Sure, I'm gonna go with Spivak. Yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with Sergey Spivak. Okay, you're just doing that on purpose. This I, I, I did, I did, I literally just said that for you did. And the bear Jew, that's a funny ass nickname, and what a fucking Jew, and he's a bear. Uh, versus Tony Walker. <laughs> Fuck. I'm going to go with Johnny Walker on this one. And it looks like Steve. Yeah, me too. Your boy yeah. Steve agrees with me. You know what, man? You like Steve. I'm going to have to go with my boy Stu. You know, Stu's a nice guy, too, you know? Uh, double O, anything you have to say? Nothing. He's just watching TV. Good to know. And we got Drakkar Close taking on Armand Saru. Sure. All right, nonetheless, enough of the analysis. Let's get the fuck into it, man. Tired of the shit, man. I'm excited to get back into some UFC that's actually being shown on the screen for once. Son of a bitch. And, uh, okay, as we're watching the main show, let's go. We got five main fights. Uh, let's see. Ooh, looks like uh, Miguel is undefeated. We'll see if that changes tonight. I doubt it. According to the betting lines, it looks like, oh, God. Well, Santos is already getting knocked out. by that last, that, that last shot. And Bezo with a head kick. Down. Oh, there As we go. Head kick was launched into his head. And there we go, just raining down powerful shots. And Josh Rosenthal, in under a minute, with 59 seconds, has to call the fight. And Miguel Baeza is 11 and 0. Just like that. Oh, there it is. Yep, there it is. Oh, God. Double L sleeping again on the fucking recording. That's amazing. 
I'm awake, but you guys oh, he's are... awake apparently. That was that did not sound like you were awake. I'm like I fell asleep, but like I'm like I, it's like weird. Like I'm in, like it's weird. It's like weird. That was really weird because I'm like, oh, we lost him. And all of a sudden, you're like, oh, no, I'm here. I'm like, what do you mean you're here? Yeah, I'm like, you, you were just out. I know. It's because, like, I'm, like, basically about to fall asleep. <sighs> was I snoring? Well, yeah, yes, was. yes, you were. That's why I said we lost you. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. God damn, man. All right, we got Sarukian taking on Drucker. Ooh, I don't even know how you say that. I'm, I'm not the, the downside of this game, right? It's an amazing game. I love this game. It's just that I could never play this alone. Like, I would freaking fall asleep every time. Yeah, it's better talking with people, especially in TEW. I don't know how them TEW YouTubers be fucking talking up, doing commentary by themselves. Oh, they talk to themselves. That's how they do it. Yeah, I know. But, like, while talking to you at the same time, it's really weird. Like, I, I have to have people to play off of, you know? It's weird. Nonetheless, um, I'm not even going to try to pronounce their names. You know their names? No. All right. This is uh, Drucker? Drakar? Drakar? Drucker. I don't know. I think I lost 10 brain cells listening to you. Uh, I know it's Armand. You know, at least I can get that name, right? Uh, the last name, Sarukian? Sarukian? Ooh. I don't know. I give up. Maybe Sarukian? That's what I said, but uh, it sounds wrong to me. Sarukian. I don't know. It's from Russia. It's, I don't know. That's, it's not even a, that's not even a Russian last name. That's some stupid, like, fucking Dagestan shit. You know? Like, most Russians are like... Doganov and Sagatov and Karatanov and like Ooh, that that big right hand hurt him. Oh Yeah, I saw that too. And apparently uh what's his face got out of the way. I refuse to say their names because that is the most confusing shit I've ever seen. Why did we have to pick a fight where, on the main card where the two guys have the most impossible names to pronounce? Why? I think you're the one who booked this actually. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Anyway, it looks like uh, they're on the ground. <laughs> and um, if you guys like TEW 2020, like myself and RBM, you can uh, catch us over on Ultima, and uh, we, we book over there as well. Uh, I'll have to play, thank fucking Christ, for one. And I'll be booking NXT. I am the head of creative of NXT over there. RBM helps out uh, What's-His-Face over there. I help out RBJ over on Raw. Well, RBJ, I that's it. Physically carry that brand. And uh, on the f draft episode, the first thing I heard was he wanted TJ Wilson, like immediately. Oh yeah, that was funny. You're like TJ Wilson, and like oh yeah, we drafted him. He's our 25th. He was our 25th draft pick. He's the Raw exclusive uh, road agent. Oh, oh, good God, they actually did it. <laughs> There's like literally nobody else of note to draft. I, so on your draft board, I was just TJ Wilson one, two, TJ Wilson three. Honestly, so we have a good storyline with Dolph Ziggler. We have Bruin, so he was at, he was on our top five yeah. definitely. I guess I have to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do with NXT. You guys basically raped all my top talent. Oh, you still have Tommaso Ciampa. Yeah, but, like, there's really nothing else to do with him down there. I, you have, uh, what's his name, Bronson Reed? I, yeah, we could use that. Um, what about, uh, do we have Cameron Grimes? I hope we do. Oh, yeah, you, you do. Okay, good. Uh, and, there's, 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 there's a lot of things in the game. Yeah, fight. that's definitely a split decision. That was a terrible fight. That's why I, I couldn't even get into it, man. Oh, you still have LA Knight, too. Is not too happy about the oh yeah L A night that'd be that that's a good one. Um, what about Keith Lee? Someone have him? He he was already on the main roster. Oh yeah, he was. Okay, that's fine. All right, we'll figure it out. Uh, I guess I assume Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish are up there too. Nope. Good. I'd like to keep them in the tag team division. Um. 
I guess it's pretty much the only too, people man. I really want uh, from the indies is uh, on a exclusive would be MV Young bringing in the Poly M cult like we have on this channel. The Poly M cult is running wild at the moment, two episodes in. Um, okay, look, we're like eight episodes in right now, but we're only showing two. So. Trying to remember what happened on episode two and one. Like, I think, like, right now we only have one world champion. And that would be uh, Brian Myers, I believe, at the moment. But I don't want to make any spoilers, but it is getting pretty good, uh, the series so far. So. Solid left hand in that. Cut Craig open. You guys are just going to have to find out. Um, I thought we have episodes uploaded. A great right hook from uh, August 14th from Johnny Walker, but it looks like Craig is saved by the bell. Anyway, um, we have episodes uploading all the way up to August 14th, and a total of eight, so stay tuned for those. Nonetheless, we got Paul Bear, Drew Craig here, and Johnny Walker, so. Excuse me for going off on a tangent and uh, hyping up other series, including the one. Yeah, yeah, these guys has been lighting it up. Yeah, so I I could I could tell, but you know I have to uh, I have to put over these other series here. Oh, ooh, Walker! Oh, Walker! Walker gets uh, stunned by that head kick. Jesus! It looks Christ. like he's been able to clear his head. We both one been one. rocking this fight so far. Yeah, we booked one hell of a fight. Yeah, these guys can stand and bang. Cleanly with the right hand, Walker does. Walker has to move into a southpaw stance. I'm not sure why. He would. Uh, unless he's ambidextrous, then he can just fucking hit you with anything. Oh, lands a head kick. Just about lands a head kick. Not quite. Oh, Craig has to back off. And boom, with a flying knee, and he's down. And it looks like he's going to... Oh, Walker... But Walker can't finish the job. Oh. What a fight we have. Yeah, Paul Paul Craig managed to get the hell... You know what? Paul Craig. Paul Craig. Yeah, that sounds like a dude from a band. You know that? Yeah, I can see it. No, that just sounds like... Let's walk with an elbow. Like, um... That sounds like a dude from a metal band I heard of. Like, like one of the drummers or something. Can't remember. Oh. Question is, will we will this go to the decision? Because both men have been rocked multiple times, seem, seemingly. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. This is gonna be a hell of a close. I think we're gonna see a knockout right here, though. Oh, there it is. Walker with a straight right to the jaw. That's a knockout. I told you, Johnny Walker with a hell of a straight right, just. Just knocks out Paul Craig. What a hell of a Honestly, what an exciting fight. A great fight. Sure it was, man. Holy shit. I told you the knockout was coming. I just didn't expect it to be that soon. <laughs> That's all. Man, oh, man. I'm going to get me a drink. Ugh, I'm already on the sock. He's the official. You know what that means. Mm. And now the co-main <laughs> event of the evening. Evening. Shamil Abdurakma versus Sergei Spivak. Both Sambo. Both from the... Both from the European region or Asian region for the case of Russia. Hits the right hand, Abdurakhimov does. Spivak manages a counter jab. Both men go and blow for both blows, seemingly. But sh but Abdurakhimov always tr starting trying to shoot in, on, not shoot in, but he's always he's already calculating. And Spivak with a beautiful right uppercut. Spivak hits the net with that shot, and Abdurakhimov goes in for the kill. He's unloading. Spivak is struggling with the coat. But it looks like Spivak Oh, it looks like he escaped the the back. Holy shit. Wow, man, this is incredible. These last three fights are looking to be entertaining. Oh, yeah. Hopefully. Oh, man. I say both these guys are Sambo fighters. Yeah. One trains at Eagles MMA. Uh, with the training of Habib Nurmagomedov. The other one is at... I can't even see that from back here. 
Gotta get closer. Ah, Strayla team. The crowd is buzzing after a very exciting round. I bet. That was incredible. Both fighters come together and strike. There we go. Nice right hook there from Spivak. Oh, man. Incredible. Oh, there we go. Right hand lands cleanly. And Spivak looking for the takedown. Gets a hold of one leg. He's probably going to drive him up against the cage, and he does. There we go. Spivak looking for the suplex. He, he gets it. Takes ground control. The suplex, man. That's got to be a couple points there for aggression. As that is one of the uh, uh, um, things that they score fights on is aggression. I believe aggression is like the second most important uh, uh, fucking thing they judge on. I believe. If that's right. Hey, thank you. Oh, sorry. I wasn't paying. I was paying attention to this fight. Yeah. Um, I said, uh, you know, the suplex, he definitely got um, the aggression, which I think is the second most important thing. Mm -hmm. to fight on. Uh, it's definitely going to help him there with the judges for round two. Abdrakhmov nails a right cross. There you go. Let's see. Here we go. Remember, this third round is for all to fight for. We're going to see what happens. We're already a minute into the third round and uh, got some strikes getting hit already. Both men starting to breathe a little heavier. Obviously, these big men aren't used to getting to the later rounds. Yeah, I was going to say, this is where your cardio really comes into play here in the later rounds. Um, Abdurakhmov with another great right hook. And Spivak is starting to um, I believe the most <laughs> important thing to a heavyweight is not his hands. It's definitely not anything involved with BJJ. You know what's actually really important to me for a heavyweight is the cardio. If you have great cardio as a heavyweight, you're definitely dominating in this division, in any division in MMA, for that matter. Because not a lot of guys can carry 260 pounds for that long a period of time fighting, okay? Really hard, trust me. I'm a heavyweight, I know. It seems like it was a very close fight. We'll see. Right, oh, here we go. Let's see, we got a... Uh, okay, here we go. So, the first one is 29-28 Spivak. 29 28 Abrick. So here we go. 29 28 Shamir. Abdurakhman wins by split decision. Abdurakhman just left or something like that. I don't know what's going on with him. He muted his mic. Oh, did he fall asleep? Uh, yeah, he muted himself. I didn't do that. So. Yeah, I know. But was he f falling asleep and he was like, uh oh. Yeah, he's like, if I'm falling asleep, might as well mute the microphone. Double L. If you're a bitch, you'll stay muted. All right, here we go. Shamil Abdurakhimov. The 40-year-old veteran able to able to fight back the young up-and-coming third surging speed back. Uh, look at that. Look at that. Pelter Jan. Pelter. I did say that. You said Pelter. Pelter, whatever. Versus Henry Cejudo, man. Look at that. Of course, uh, Pielter has the uh, belt on him in this picture. That's pretty funny. Both, both former Bantamweight champions, although Cejudo is a former flyweight champion. Henry Cejudo coming out of retirement, looking to get the interim strap. Yeah, a lot of people are probably going to say, this should have been a pay-per-view fight. Why is it not a pay-per-view fight? Good question. I have no idea. We needed a good main event. We're going to be honest. Yeah, I would say. And apparently, Henry Cejudo is the champ. You know, there's this for the interview. Yeah, constantly moving in. It looks like Henry Cejudo is a big underdog, according to this uh, Vegas line. I don't know why. But... Cejudo dominated this division at one point. Oh, look at that! And oh, he beat he's getting yeah, dominated by Cejudo, just like that. That's what I'm saying. You can't ever trust these fucking betting lines. And the judges. Passing guard. And he blocks the uh, attempt of passing guard. Cejudo's trying to think about what he wants to do next. Cejudo looking to get past. Passes the side control and Jan starts scrambling. 
There we go. Back control standing up. Let's see what happens. Oh, struggles to get free. And Cejudo definitely dominated that first round. Oh, what? Okay, never mind. It's going to be an uphill battle, apparently. You believe that for a second? Now, remember, Cejudo has only lost twice in his career, one of them being to one of the greatest uh, flyweights of all time, Demetrius Johnson. Yeah. While Jan has also lost twice, one by disqualification to the current champion. Interesting. Uh, here we go, Cejudo. Cejudo's just dominating this fight. But they're saying that Jan... They're saying that Jan won the first round. Do you believe that? Correct. Uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah. By Cejudo. This is incredible. Cejudo coming back and just fucking laying the... Here we go. Got underhooks. And another takedown. Okay, this is fucking... Oh, man, he's just... Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what the hell Yon's gonna do. Yeah. This is and this is the the Olympic gold medalist level of wrestling that you're gonna see from Mr. Henry Cejudo. Well, this is what we've seen from him last time when he was in UFC. Apparently, it's now tied nineteen nineteen. I have a twenty eighteen Cejudo right now. As do I. Uh, but. Cat guy is on crack. It must be Steve. Sorry, I'm making fun of your boy. I apologize. Hey, what can you say? And Cejudo being very cautious of Jan's boxing power. Oh, wait a minute. That last kick caught Cejudo him. caught the kick. And he's just, he'll just push Jan up against the cage. Some underhooks, and he got it. Another Greco-Roman slam again. This is just incredible. Ooh, get this caught in side control. So Henry Cejudo is just doing what he does best, and that is laying the smacketh down on Pelter, Pelter Yarn's candy ass. He has brought his wrestling shoes tonight. That's why I said that. Oh, wrong wrestling. I mean, who knows? He might Henry Cejudo might just bust out of people's elbow here. I don't know. I mean, he literally could do anything he wants to yawn, you know? That's why I said He gets the single leg takedown. I know. And this gives him plenty of time to work. Yeah, he did it in like the first 20 seconds there, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, man, that's just... <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Scramble. Yawn's left turtled with Cejudo behind him. There you go. In the turtle position. That's not good for uh, Yawn. He gets the back control, apparently. Oh, another takedown attempt from behind. Yawn digs in. Good job. And... Who gets the takedown? Hold the take is back, apparently. Oh, both hooks in. Rear naked choke. Oh, Yawn fought it off there with 40 seconds left. And that's it for round four. Man, Henry Cejudo's just dominating with the wrestling. Yawn is going to have to look for something big to end Cejudo fast in the first round. Well, now it's the fifth round. Here we go. At first, eight seconds. Oh, did I say first? I meant fifth, obviously. Oh, man. Look at this, dude. Cejudo's dominating him. Oh, wait, Cejudo's against the cage. Just like that, Yon. Oh, and that's what Cejudo reverses back. Holy shit. Yon's trying to get something. But Yon blocks the attempt, keeping a solid base. There we go. Yon's doing a good job here, man. He's, he's trying. Oh, he couldn't stop the third. Third time's a charm there for Cejudo. This is just too much. Cejudo just looking to weaken him. I guess he is now doing a quarterback kneel, essentially, of MMA. He's going to waste the clock here. That's what he's looking to do. I guess you can't blame him. 
So if we were to practically just take the knee at this point, just to, just trying to hold Yon down, throwing some minor strikes. Yeah, he is taking, the, he's he's taking the quarterback kneel right now and running out the clock, and he sure did right there. Henry Cejudo definitely won this fight, no doubt about it. Um, I guess we'll find out. We got a 50-45, a 48-47, and a 49-46. This fight definitely goes to Henry Cejudo. Um, Your winner and new interim champion, Henry the Messenger Cejudo, triple C, well, technically double C, has come back. And a decent fight. Huh. Can you see why they're saying he, uh, uh, Pialter won the first round? Yeah, I don't. I don't, honestly. In the second round, I could see why he would win the second because he. I'm so, uh, no, he got two takedowns and he had more, and he had the same amount of strikes. Henry Cejudo went for 15 takedowns. Holy shit. Um, anyway, so that's going to do it for this fight card. Quite interesting. Anyway, let's see here. Cejudo celebrates winning the interim UFC Bantamweight title. And he won't celebrate till he's become the undisputed champion. So he says, I'm an interim for now, but definitely will be the main champ. Aljamain Sterling has been put on notice. Sure has. Mid-level international there for the card. It's not bad for a lesser show. Mike Goldberg and Joe Rogan on commentary. What a hell of a, what a, hell of a night for both of them. For Mike Goldberg's return. Oh, yeah. Increasing popularity in each region. Yep. Johnny Walker with a fight and knockout of the night. Let's see if we made... We made $1.3 million. Ooh. Yep. There you go. About time we're making a profit. Fuck, dude. Well, a sizable profit. Oh, I, I meant like a lengthy profit like that. Watch how we're going to get like a, a penalty goes. Henry Cejudo was not a worthy challenger for a title. Oh, suck a dick. This guy's fucking popular, all right? We, we care about popularity, not rankings, okay? In the UFC. You know what's hilarious? Dillashaw was saying like how there wasn't a dominant bandweight champion in the division since you left. Dillashaw was never down at champion either. Yeah. And neither of his rings. He made two defenses, then he lost it. He made one defense against Garbrandt, and then lost it. Or no, he, then he, made, he went down to face Henry Cejudo, and then, you know, that whole thing happened. Yeah, that bullshit. What a bunch of shit. You know that? Yeah. Alright, come on. Holy fuck. Come on, just hurry up. Don't go it all day. I really hope Ultima doesn't mind my very inappropriate jokes <laughs> during live streams and shit. I hope so too. Because I'd like to crack very, very jokes. I hope I don't get banned off the fucking channel. That's my only concern. So apparently James Ellsworth spoke out about something. That's why we couldn't find him for uh, our local to global. He what? what? I said, I guess we couldn't find James Ellsworth, according to that Jose guy, because he spoke out about something. I don't know what in mentioned what. It's in there. It's in this chat. 
Mm. Wow, this is taking a long time. Dude, I know, man. This is fucking ridiculous. Here we go. All right. As soon as you see processing website, you know it's done. Okay. Looks like Benson Henderson got defeated. Ooh. A unanimous decision in round three. Wow. Anyway, so let's check out the rankings. No. Oh, well, okay. How about now? Yes. Oh, he moved up from 14 to 12. Okay. Volkov went down. What was his last fight? Lost to Gustafson. Ooh, that's not good. Where is Gustafson? He's 25. Oh, he's exactly 25. Interesting. Okay, so... It's looking like Cyril Gane is going to be our next uh, opponent for John Jones. Yep. Um, our light heavyweight. Looks like we walk her up to number seven. Ooh, now. The share is available. And Yuri. There you go. Oh, yeah. We got that fight all set up. Yep, sure do. There's Mark. Vittori and Brunson, possibly. Looks like Vittori's going to go for his first title here soon. Um, Vince Cicente Luque. It looks like he's going to be looking to get a shot against Kamara Usman or uh, Leon Edwards. Yep. Poirier is look like he's looks like he's waiting for Conor McGregor. Yep, sure fucking is. In six days. For featherweight, we had Dan. I forgot how to pronounce it. Ige. Ige, thank you. Moving up to eleven. We got Hakeem Dewadu moving up from eighteen to fifteen. Uh, did I miss anyone lightweight? Oh, yeah. So, Sarukian moves up to 16. Got a lot of people move up, actually. Bobby Green moved up to 19. Moises moved up. Grant Dawson moved up for some reason. Okay. All right, ban them, wait. Let's see how this, how this is going. Yep, so Hudo is now the number one contender, basically. Yep, sure is. He man, yep, he cemented himself as number one contender. Now when is O'Malley gonna be back? Uh that's a hell of a good question. Uh probably like say so yeah, six days. Six days. Hmm, maybe uh, him and Jose Aldo? Yeah, that's what we were thinking. Him and Jose Aldo. He's gonna get this fucking guy here. It's gonna be a very interesting fight. Sure is. If he wins, he's probably moving up to like six or five. Yeah. Um just making a beeline for that title. And then if he wins that, he might go up against Corey uh, Sanhagen. Yep. Which he beat Rob Font. So. He looks like he should be going to the winner of Cejudo and Aljamain Sterling. Which Sterling has another two months. So uh, let's see how long Henry Cejudo has at the moment. He has 27 days. So it looks like Cejudo will be defending his interim championship. Uh, yep. Yep, looks like he will be. Or he can sit on the sidelines for a month and wait for Al Jermaine Well, I think Cody Garbrandt versus TJ Dillashaw, that would decide the number one, can, that would decide at least the title challenger, right? Oh, yeah, for the winner of these two? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. All right, flyweights. Looks like it needs some booking. It sure does. we got a lot of black names here. A lot of especially, yeah, especially in the top five, surprisingly. Yeah. We were usually on our shit about the top ten. No movement there. No movement there. No movement there. And what do you know? No movement there. All right. I guess it's going to do for this episode. There's really nothing else to uh, go over except for four shows running the ABC. That's not good. Um, so I guess we're going to extend our contract with him real quick. There you go. We'll get that later on. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Yep. Yep.
Anyway, we should probably book some more cards. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, see you next time. See ya.